are we recording? Yes, we are. I'm so excited about this video. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I have a box sitting next to me, and it's a large box, and it's full of backpacks and purses and clothing, all sorts of goodies from Box Lunch. So Box Lunch is currently coming out with this Sailor Moon fashion line, which you can only find exclusively in Box Lunch stores or on their website. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these items while they are currently coming out and rolling out to different stores and on the website, I highly recommend following me on Instagram. My Instagram name over there is at Sailor Snubs, just like this channel name, because some of these items sold out in less than an hour. It was crazy. So I really had to be on top of it and like checking the website at specific times during the day in order to be able to alert the Sailor Moon Moonies about these items when they came out because people are just buying them up like crazy, reselling them on Mercari. I do want to say a huge thank you to Hot Topic and Box Lunch for implementing limits on a lot of these items. If you're doing one transaction for an item that's selling up out rather quickly, you were limited and you are limited in store as well for certain items. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with my box lunch unboxing and haul. Now, in case you were wondering, the shirt that I'm currently wearing is from Hot Topic. I also did a haul and review and unboxing of all the items that I got from Hot Topic in the last several weeks. So if you are interested in those, definitely check out my video and subscribe so that you can see those reviews as well. So with these online orders, Box Lunch is sending out these really cute flyers that feature a bunch of new Sailor Moon items. Now the funny thing is, I did get to see an image of this several weeks before they were announced, so I knew what was coming, but I was not allowed to post it. So I didn't end up being able to announce this until it was officially on the website. So I'm gonna start with the fashion line. We have three new shirts. They also have this very cute purple tie-dye Princess Serenity that says Princess Serenity on it, a t-shirt. However, I'm sick of tie-dye, so I did not end up purchasing that. It's no longer available on the website, but apparently you can find it in certain stores. So keep an eye on your box lunch store in case they do have this available in your size. This first one is $28.90, and this is from the exclusive fashion collection. This is a cute checkered shirt that features Luna and Artemis on the front and this embroidered heart. It's rather thin. It's a very, very thin shirt, so I feel like it would be very breathable. In fact, when I got this in the mail, my immediate thought was, oh, I should totally wear this when I'm going to Top Golf <laughs> because it looks like something you would golf in. Like it's a very, very cute kind of a sporty attire and I love that it's breathable. I ended up getting this in a medium, but given the size, I could have probably sized down to a small and felt just fine in this shirt. Okay, folks, so here is the first shirt I wanted to show you. Get out of the way, other merchandise. This is the checkered Luna and Artemis shirt. I do ha still have the tag on just in case I wanted to return it, but this is a medium, and you can tell that it is rather thin. It's a very, very comfortable fit. It feels really good. I do think that I could size down. I think I could go down to a small and it would fit just fine. So that one is cotton and polyester and it does say to hand wash cold. Now this is the second shirt that I got. It's available in men's sizes. So I ended up sizing pretty far down to an extra small. This one is $44.99 and this is also from the exclusive fashion collection. This one does come with an extra button just in case you lose one of the buttons on the front, which I did appreciate. And just in case you wanted to know, it is 100% cotton. Now the biggest reason I wanted this one is because it's a unique print. We don't usually see this kind of color combo and this kind of print. So it feels very unique, but also this is the same print that comes on my favorite shirt from Hot Topic's recent exclusive fashion line. So it features all of the Sailor Senshi, not just the inners. This one I'm actually impressed with. I thought this was going to be my least favorite, but I think it ended up being my 
favorite of the three shirts that I got from Box Lunch, which is kind of surprising to me, but it fits the best. So apparently maybe I should just start sizing down on all the shirts that I buy from Hot Topic and Box Lunch because I keep on running into that problem. So I think this one looks best tucked in, especially if you have a pretty narrow waist, which is something that I, I definitely do have. That gives you a little bit more definition around the waist. And since I did size down, it still looks pretty slimming. So it does give me a little bit of that slimming effect on my back as well as my side. So it does tilt in just a little bit and I, I really like that. So I think it looks really good even if I just leave it out like this. Now I prefer leaving this last button undone just to give my hips a little bit more space because it, it does feel a little bit more narrow whenever I do buckle that last button right there. It's cute. I think I'll wear this all day. I like it. Also, I apologize if you hear some yard work happening outside. It's somebody mowing. That would be my husband. It's his only day off work, so he's doing yard work today, which I'm not going to complain about and I'm not going to ask him to stop because I appreciate when he does yard work. It means I don't have to do it and I'm not a yard work person. I hate bugs, so I would rather him do it than me. Okay, so this is the last shirt, which I also debated about because online it looks like a... I was reminded of Freddy Krueger when I saw this shirt and maybe it's just because I've, I have Halloween on the mind and I'm ready to decorate for Halloween, but I saw this and I was like, so I was a little debated and then I went through the pictures and I was like, oh, okay, now I like it. So I like this back print. It's really pretty. It's a very, very nice artistic print of the inner Sailor Senshi and Chibi Moon and it says Sailor Moon at the bottom. So then I was like, all right, I could get with that. That's cute. I think that's adorable and I could definitely get with this. So I like that and it also has Sailor Moon's compact in pink on the front in embroidery in some really pretty like gold shiny embroidery as well as pink. So that's cute. So this shirt I ended up getting in a small. This is also 100% cotton and this one is listed in unisex sizing. So we have this one listed in guys, this one is listed as unisex, and then this one is listed as girls. The sleeves are the perfect length on this size small, as you can see. I don't like the droop as much. I don't like how it droops off of my chest as much. Um, a lot of times that is an issue with unisex sizing, but I do like that it's quite roomy. So it does feel really comfortable to wear and it is quite thin. So it's very comfy to wear, even though it's warm outside right now. This is a really wide neck. So that's another thing to keep in mind if you are purchasing this yourself. So moving on from the clothing, we also have a purse and two different backpacks. Yes, I was able to get all three of the new bags that are exclusive to Box Lunch, even though they were super, super hard to get, but I did get them and I'm so excited to show you these. So the first one that I have for you is the purse and it is pink, like a shiny pink all the way around. And this does feature the cutie moon rod on the front. The cutie moon rod is used as a latch to close the top compartment. Now that top compartment opens up and this just drops down to the side or you can just stick it back in that little latch. That opens up to the main area for the purse where you can see a whole bunch of Sailor Senshi planetary symbols. There's also a simple zipper at the back to hold all your goods. Now, even though this purse does not have the usual labeling, the usual tags, this is a Loungefly bag. It was distributed and manufactured by Loungefly and it is exclusive for Box Lunch. Interesting. So other than those inner pockets, we also have a front pocket, which is where I'm keeping my vaccine card. <laughs> Go get vaccinated, folks. You can just put your latch right back on the front to keep it closed. Now, I did have a concern with this and I asked on Instagram and a lot of other people noticed this as well. When you are walking around, this slides out so easily. So I found when I was like taking this around town, going to the post office and stuff like that, this cutie moon rod lock kept on slipping out of place. And I think it's because the top of it is a lot heavier than the wand piece itself. So this part is weighing it down towards the chain and it keeps on just 
sliding out because of weight. So I am wondering if anybody has an idea out there about how you can fix that because I would love to be able to use this purse, but not if this keeps on sliding out every single time I wanna use it. Like it just, you start walking and it just tilts out. It's, it's such, it's such an annoying issue for such a beautiful piece. And I really wanna be able to use this all the time, but I just can't if it keeps on doing that. As far as the materials go on the outside, you can see this really pretty, it's almost like a pearlescent sheen for the pink. There is a top handle for your hand. There's also a crossbody strap that you can use, and this is adjustable, and it's all made out of the same pearlescent pink material. Down at the bottom for the rest of the body of the purse, we have this really pretty pearlescent, kind of a cream color. And you do have these gold metal corners, which do help to protect it. It does stand up straight, it doesn't fall over. And on the back, we have this really pretty piece that says Sailor Moon. This is a really interesting backpack because it has a spiral heart moon rod up at the top that you can use to hang it from any kind of latches or handles to keep it off the ground. I thought that was really interesting and a very unique feature. Now this is listed on the tag as being $79.90. So I'm pretty sure I use like $10 in discounts in order to get it to that lower price. Okay, now that I have all the packaging off of this thing, I can actually show you what it looks like. So we have the metal spiral heart moon rod up at the top so you can actually hang it from things. On the front, we have a metal crescent moon and it says underneath that in gold foil, it says Sailor Moon. This is a gold zipper. And we also have the Sailor Moon logo down at the bottom. Now, one issue that a lot of people were noticing is that this material creases really easily. So depending on how it was packaged and depending how it actually got to you, you might notice some little creases in yours. In fact, I saw some pictures where there were creases going straight through the middle of this backpack, uh, which is very unfortunate. Luckily, mine only came with a couple of little creases down at the bottom, which will hopefully work themselves out. I also saw some pictures of these being sideways, the crescent moon being a little crooked. So keep an eye on whatever ones you are purchasing, especially if you go to a store to buy one of these. I love that there's a print of Luna and Artemis on the back. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. That's such a nice little feature. Just a cute little addition on the back and it's kind of a little hidden piece of Sailor Moon. Very cute. Just like the purse, this one also features the same pink pearlescent color. So when I tilt this back and forth in the lighting, you can definitely see the color differences and it's very, very pretty. This zipper compartment is pretty skinny, but that opens up to feature all of the inner Sailor Senshi planetary symbols. You also have the same print on the interior and there is a zipper pocket at the back. There's also a couple of side pockets which are completely open and you can use those to store additional items. I don't think that would be big enough to fit an actual thermos or like my Starbucks cup, but they are decent size to fit I don't know, maybe a cell phone or something small. However, if you did put your cell phone in one of these side pockets, I would not carry this around if I was in an unsafe environment. I would definitely put that in the zipper pouch instead. The shoulder straps are slightly padded, not too much, and they are pink just like the rest of the bag, and they are covered in the same exact material. Now, just like the purse, this one is also manufactured by Loungefly. This Constellation backpack, I really appreciate that it comes with a duster bag to protect it whenever you are keeping this in storage. That's a really nice, useful feature whenever you're talking about premium lines or premium brands of purses and bags. I always like it whenever duster bags are included. Oh my God, this thing is totally in a knot. Okay, all right. So this is also a part of Box Lunch's exclusive fashion collection. And this bag is also $69.90. So it's a little bit cheaper than the other backpack, but the sizing is pretty similar to the other backpack as well. This one I would say is slightly smaller. While this one is currently listed online, it is also completely out of stock. So I will be keeping my eye on the stock levels on their website because I feel like this stuff is just like randomly coming in on certain days and then 
randomly disappearing other days. The front print on this is really cute. It features this constellation print of our solar system, and on each of the different lines you do have the prints for the inner sailor senshi. These are like little plastic pieces, little plastic icons. You also have the outer sailor senshi represented on here as well. This is a cream colored backpack. It might look white in the picture, but it's actually a cream color. And this is kind of a gold paint, so it does have a little bit of a shine to it. Up at the top, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. These straps are the same material. Again, they're adjustable and you can remove them. That's an interesting feature. You can remove them completely. And since you can remove these completely, and these also feature a couple of little straps, it looks like you can take one of these straps, stick it on here, and use it as a crossbody bag. That's pretty cool. So this one actually has two large zippers. There's a front pocket, which features two different pockets that you can slip items into. Nothing huge, maybe a iPad mini would fit in there, but not a laptop. So the inside, the large pocket, seems fairly roomy in there. There is a back pocket that you can slip things into as well. No additional zippered pockets on the inside of this backpack. I don't see any tags on this saying who the manufacturer is. I think it was BioWorld. That's what some Mercari sellers were listing it this as, but I don't see any tags. However, if that is incorrect, I will let you know down in the description or the lower third or the comments down there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get out a comparison so you can actually see all three of these bags side by side. So here we have the two backpacks and the purse sitting directly in front of it. So as you can see, now that I have these side by side, when comparing them side by side, the BioWorld one is definitely smaller than the Loungefly bag, which features a little bit more roomy of an interior than this smaller bag. But comparing these side by side, you can tell that the purse is a pretty decent size. It's definitely up there as far as sizing goes when you when it comes to a crossbody bag. So this is something that would fit quite a bit of stuff. I am glad that I was able to get all three of these. I'm very, very thankful that I was able to check the website and get all three of these ordered because that was tough. It was really tough to be able to get these. I think this one sold out the first day in less than 30 minutes. They put it back online and it sold out again in like 40 minutes. This one sold out in under an hour. This one, I'm not really sure. I ended up catching it in the middle of the day one day. So this one sold out as well. It's currently out of stock. These two aren't even listed on the website anymore, but the, you can find them in the box lunch stores. A lot of stores have been posting limit two, these are available on this day, and then you can go over there and pick them up. So I would love to know what you think of this new box lunch collection. I think this was a fabulous haul. I, I love all of these products so much, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. I would say the only issue that I've had is with the cutie moon rod latch on the front of this and how it always falls out whenever I'm actually using this bag and I'm walking around with it and causing it to move which I feel like is just a thing that you do with purses. They're going to move and they should be very durable. So I need to find a way to fix that. But otherwise, I'm very happy with this collection. I'm really excited to be able to wear the new fashion and take these out and about whenever I'm actually going outside very rarely on those rare occasions. Let me know if you were able to nab any of these. And if you were, which one did you end up getting? I'm so excited to hear what y'all think as well. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And my name is Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Johnny.